So this is a New Mexico sign. We've passed through the tunnel of Raton Pass from Colorado and now we're in New Mexico. This was our second day on the Southwest Chief, entering one of my favorite states, New Mexico. Yeah, it collapsed something. Or maybe just a junk pile. Well, this is different on this side. And things are frosted up too. Yeah. We're at over 7,000 feet, right? You have a big canyon down that way. This was one of those quiet moments on Amtrak passenger trains. Just the scenery and the rumble of the wheels. At this point, we reach the edge of last year's catastrophic forest fires. That had those horrible gut wrenching fires. Fire is a natural component of forest ecology. Years of fire suppression caused fuels to build up, resulting in fires so hot they kill the soil in some places. We emerged from the burned out areas to this ranch just outside the fire zone. I bet they were nervous. Probably evacuated. Yeah. Entering the town of Raton, Liz named what she saw from our roomette. Texaco products. Texaco station with no service. Street clean. Melody Lane Motel, AAA approved. Downtown is that away. An old Main Street is this away. Funeral. Got a little rainbow mural on their building. Uh, and hopefully I can get a Our front street, a railroad avenue. What you want to do? Yeah, probably is called Front Street, huh? Yeah. And there's the people lining up for the train. A raton. A raton had a handsome little station that seemed to go perfectly with the landscape surrounding it. Leaving Raton, we rumbled through some of New Mexico's wide open spaces, and then areas with wide spaces between evergreen trees. Don't let the green fool you. This is dry country. All this landscape viewing made us hungry, so we repaired to the dining car for lunch, sharing our table with a couple from Scotland. He's asking about where we were going to be at. Of course, yeah. I see solar panels on one of the roofs. Oh, yeah. That might have been what he was telling us. Store the water in a cistern and then filter it if you need to. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Roy and your dining car steward. We're inviting the 2 o'clock dinner reservations. I'm sorry, 2 o'clock lunch reservations. <laughs> what did it cost? 2 o'clock yeah. lunch reservations. Oh, come on, man. Excitement. It's the Southwest Chief heading towards Chicago. This is the eastbound, <laughs> northeastbound. <laughs> Southwest Chief. Are we having dessert? Approaching Lamy, New Mexico, we saw this old railroad car fixed up as someone's house. Sorry. Oh, and there's another one coming up. Mm, don't know if anyone's living in that one. Maybe that's the one they're going to fix up next. Yeah. Now that oh, oh a wooden box car, but it's actually a box car on a flat car. Yeah. So that's what a boxcar is? Yeah. Ah, right, okay. That's the real old. They don't run those. They haven't run no. those in years. Despite its name, the Santa Fe Railroad didn't go to Santa Fe. 
Passengers bound for the capital get off here at Lamy. It's the same now with Amtrak and the Southwest Chief. A whole bunch of people getting on here. Yeah, this is because this is how you get to Santa Fe. The Southwest Chief gave me my first experience of this part of America's Southwest. That was back in 1984. Then as now, I'm enchanted by this unique landscape. It was so unlike anything I'd seen before. Since we were now traveling in April, there would be enough daylight to see this enchanting landscape for many more miles. But first we would stop in Albuquerque. That and more in part four of Amtrak's Southwest Chief.